Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a makeup look inspired by the Victoria's Secret fashion show this year. I am obsessed with it every year. I just wish that I could grow like six inches, lose about 20 pounds, and be like it's just a Victoria's Secret model. Like who doesn't want to be a Victoria's Secret angel? I mean really, if you don't want to be one, deep down inside, then I just don't understand. I mean, that would just be the ideal job. You can just be in your underwear, like you don't have to wear pants, and it would just be awesome. So anyways, every year I'm obsessed with the show. I love seeing the makeup, I love seeing the hair, I love seeing all the costumes and all the fabulousness, and Justin Bieber and Rihanna are gonna be performing, so I am so excited. Um, so the show hasn't aired yet, but they have been, you know, Facebooking and tweeting and Instagramming behind the scenes um, pictures and footage and stuff. So I was all over that and I decided that I wanted to do a makeup look inspired by them. Um, I love the look that they did this year. It is not over the top, but it's still glamorous. So if you want to see how I did this, then just keep watching. So the first step in getting the Victoria's Secret look is creating a flawless face. I have a separate video on this, but here I am just using Maybelline. No, I'm not using Maybelline. I'm using L'Oreal True Match Lumi Healthy Luminous Foundation in the shade W6 and just applying it all over my face. Now I'm just taking concealer. This is Maybelline's Fit Me Concealer in the shade Medium. And I'm just using this to brighten up underneath my eyes. Now to set all of that, I am taking Max Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in the shade Medium Dark. Now another key part of the Victoria's Secret look is bronzer and looking bronzed and beautiful. So I'm taking Milani's Baked Bronzer in the shade Golden and applying that to my cheeks, um, up onto my forehead, my nose, pretty much anywhere the sun would hit just to give you that sun-kissed glow. For blush, take any peachy pink color. I'm using NYX Pinch to add a little bit of flush to my cheeks. Now I am highlighting using um, Victoria's Secret's Sun Goddess Bronzer. It's a really light color for a bronzer, so it makes a perfect highlight. It's just a beautiful gold shade, and I'm applying that to my cheekbones and down the bridge of my nose. Now moving on to the eyes, we're taking the Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette and we're pretty much going to follow the guidelines that it has in the eyeshadow. So we're going to take the eyelid color, which is just a really pretty shimmery beige, and we're going to apply that to our eyelids. Then we're going to be taking the crease color, which is just a medium shimmery brown shade and blending it into our crease. Now I'm taking the definer color in the palette, which is a dark brown shade, and applying that to my outer V, and then we're just going to blend that out using a clean blending brush.
Then taking the eyeshadow, which is labeled Brow Bone, we're gonna place that on our brow bone to highlight. I'm also taking that same shade we used on our brow bone and applying it to my inner tear duct just with my finger to brighten up my eyes and make them look more open and awake. Next what you want to do is take liquid liner to create a cat eye. I am using NYC's liquid liner. Uh, this is my favorite eyeliner ever and I'm just creating a little bit of wing on the ends. I noticed the models had a little bit of a cat eye going on this year so just use liquid liner, gel liner, whatever is easier for you to use and just extend the wing a little bit. It doesn't have to be really far out there. After you've finished your liquid liner, then just take the crease color and apply that to your lower lash line. Okay, so I just went ahead and applied my eyebrows and my mascara on my, my mascara. I just put a ton and ton of black mascara on the top and then um, I read that their makeup artist for the show used brown on the bottom just so it doesn't drag the eye down, still makes it look um, more open. So I used brown mascara on the bottom and for that, I use any brown mascara, I used this one, <laughs> Maybelline Colossal. And on the top I used It Cosmetics Hello Lashes. So now the last thing to do is to do the lift. Now I'm taking this lip liner from Maybelline in the shade Toast and I'm using it to line my lips and define them. The lip color I chose for this look is Revlon's Lip Butter in the color Sweet Tart. It's a really pretty peachy corally shade which is similar to what the models had. Then I decided I wanted to add a little bit of a gloss, so I'm taking NYX's Plump It Up Lip Plumper in the shade Kim. And that is the final step. Hope you guys enjoyed it and thank you for watching.